Hi guys, welcome to another video, and Chris has promised me a real treat for this one. I'm leaving. Yes! Or I could do a technique. Uh. On Kev. Uh -huh. We've all seen the corkscrew technique, where you delightfully place your cane vigorously between somebody's legs, and then you run away and give a little twist. Hang on, I'm going to phone my agent. I didn't agree to this. I'm your agent. Why did you sign me up for this then? Uh, you make me look good. So, my theory was, what if they got a left hand thread? You're talking gibberish again. Come on. Oh, this is true. <laughs> so, are you ready? Oh. Right. We have left this video to the very last video that we're filming today. And there's a very good reason. Because you might get hurt. Because I might get hurt. Okay. Which <laughs> means might. I'm going to get hurt. Yeah. Ready? No. One, two. So normally with the corkscrew, you've seen this, we've done it a few times. We lift, stand on the foot, turn behind and wrench. Now, Kev's going to adjust his position to me. There we go. Now, if somebody's in my face, oh, you're in my face. Get your boat out of my physiognomy, you. So I don't really want to be here. What I like to do. I don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. Now I'm going to do this left-handed and right-handed so you can see the technique. Oh, twice, thank you. I'm not going to do it. You'll be safe, honestly. So. Your nose is growing. Mm. <laughs> so rather than stand front on, I could try standing side on, but I like to try and get to their side. You've disappeared. I have disappeared. I can, I can disappear again just by lowering my body weight. <laughs> now, if I do this, yeah, he's going to see it. But my, well, my, my natural reaction is the normal man yeah. knees together, snow plough in skiing. If you've ever been skiing, you know the snow plough. Yes, and that's why this collarbone is no longer attached to my body. So what I'm going to do, rather than place in and turn, I want to get to the side. Now this gives me actually a dominant position, but I'm still going to be talking in a cowering and sympathetic manner, so he's off guard. So this, it's not just normal? Normal stuff for me. But this time I'm going to place the cane that way. So that by the time he's seen that, yeah... I'm not going to do that because it wraps across the knees. Put and the position so people can see. Yeah. So while I'm here, distracting, talking, the cane is going to flip here and then it's going to go on here. Oh, nice. Now you can from here do a Brazilian lift and separate, but if I decide to run away from that point, I'm going to be going the opposite way of what we normally be doing. So do it from this side. Oh no, please don't hurt me. Oh, you leave. Stop pointing at my hat. You're jealous of the hat. He's been nothing but picking on my hat. Please don't hurt me, sir. Oh, 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 etc. Etc. Now you've got a finger there. My instant reaction is to grab it and break it. <laughs> I've got the reflexes. I know. But even if I'm just pushing that out the way. Fair enough, you push my hand straight into the view of that. So. I just had an idea. Uh, copyright, you're on 20%. So these are my legs, and Chris is going to show it. So here. Yeah. So whatever it is to see, but as I'm running away, because I can run in that direction now. And one more time, just for posterity. Posterity. So here. You won't front the camera, no one's going to see this. <laughs> we'll do it from both sides. You hold the camera, man. I know, I know. So, Front on, brilliant, but I like to be in this. Now, um, this is a psychological thing as well for me, because all of a sudden, what, what have you suddenly become in your brain if I step to this side? He's more dominant. I've become more dominant without him realising it. Please, sir. You may have another. Can I ask a question? You may ask a question. When you stepped with the cane in your right hand, yep. to there, I can still see the cane. Yeah. What if, what if, yep. the cane was in your left hand and you stepped to my right? I just, want to see, I just want to see if I can still see the cane. Well, I would be here going, please don't hurt me, sir. Well, I can't see the cane. Yeah, that was just for ease. No, I'm just saying, so if you use the direction that the cane is in, 
the cane becomes hidden. So if I sit my left hand, I want to move to the left. And if you sit my right hand, I wonder if I should move to the right. Hmm. We well, are never right, so <laughs> he's worried then. So the only difference is rather than coming through, which I can see all the movement from the shoulder downwards. Yeah. Obviously, there's, this wouldn't be the entry technique. Though I did train with a guy. Uh, he was 82, and he'd been attempted to be mugged three times. And this was his technique. He went flick, and then ran away and pulled the cane as he went around. I've seen one guy. Do you know what his instructor said? Go on. If it works, use it. No, he actually said, you need to vary your techniques. And I said, no, it that works. works for you. Use it. One guy I used to spar with all of the time. He used to wind his fist up yep. and give you a kick. Yeah. And it was always the same. The same reaction was... I'll get ready for the punch, and then next thing I know there's a kick coming in at me. Stand so, stand. you know, it's, it's, it's setting a dummy. Yeah, so I would recommend, if you check out um, some of Jeff Thompson's stuff with Peter Considine, I think I got the name right, but this is one of the techniques you use. If people are getting in your face, and they get in there, step to the side, be friendly, mm -hmm. and then unconsciously you are not becoming the dominant person in the, in this i wouldn't say relationship I'll situation say, situation but this gives me if it's in that hand it gives me the option to then do that technique. it's totally hidden yeah you could do other techniques but i was just thinking well, you know left-handed thread you ever cut a left-handed thread on your leg well i know it's a little bit off topic off topic i like but topics you just i've seen something Cane's in your left hand and you step to the left with the canes down and here. Can you get that nice little squeeze you like from here? The next squeeze? Well, because I'll be going, oh, please don't hurt me, I'm yeah. being guarded, etc. Still can't see, no, I can see your end. Well, can, that one. What about this one? No. Yeah. So, so you can put the neck crank on as well. There's various things you can do. But so, one video, three techniques. Step to the side, reverse corkscrew, and a neck crank. The key, the key to this technique is not the corkscrew technique, but just remembering in a stressful situation, it's very difficult to think, is there going to be a video on that? I think there will there be. There will be. But getting to here, but not acting as the aggressor while you're doing it. See, the system that I, 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 I came up in, the idea was you're then bringing one foot back and presenting half target, side yeah. target. Which is, you know, Wing Chun and Kung Fu. Got lots of stuff. Now, but that is actually, rather than you get in that position, you're... I don't know, it's really disorientating. You're, I'm having an argument with you. Yeah. And then you're there. I'm like, well, what the hell are you doing there? And by the time I'm like, turned my head and gone, what are you now, doing there? Now, if you actually decide to go into a guard position, like you just did, you've actually done the job for me. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So, these are little things you can look out for. I say, it's not a complicated technique. May work, may not work. For me, it works because um, we do like to test these things out. And somebody said, "Have you ever?" I've never been in a street fight, and I was like, "Well, how do you know?" <laughs> um, and we do actually say, "I've used this technique; it worked." I recall saying we did a throw, and I said I was surprised it actually worked in a pressure situation, but it was there. All the altercations I've been in, it's been really weird that ninety percent of them. I've actually dealt with with a flinch reflex. Yeah, I've not. I'm not a hardened street fighter. I'm not what these people say. I've won every fight I've been in. I get picked on. That's because, well, you're a mod, etc. So, have a play with it. Tell us what you think. Is there a way we can make it better? I've just had a thought. However, it does involve this going up your groin and twisting. Yeah, I think we'll leave that for when Dan comes back. Yes. Hopefully soon. Soon. Thanks for watching, guys. You're an absolute star. Drop us a comment down below. It helps the algorithm keeps us growing. So there's a lot of food. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Breathe in. I forgot to ring the bell. No, did you free the ferret? I freed the fear. I caged the ferret. Have you seen Bee Stars? Yes, it's brilliant. It is. Have you seen the ferret yet? No, not yet. Seen the bunny? Bunny of death. Bunny of death. Not very nice. Right, guys, if you like some more up and close personal videos, below me 
there's a picture, have a click on it, enjoy. Below me, there will be a video on how not to flinch, a beginner's training guide to flinching.